Hi, <clears throat> good morning, and welcome to today's edition of Market Analysis Pre-Market for today, Friday, September the 9th. I'm Giovanni Benacor, operator, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets. Well, um, we be we be we'll be seeing the markets uh, open on a higher note uh, today. Yesterday, we obviously received that sad news of Her Majesty the Queen passing away. You know, one fact about the uh, sterling is that it had a high of two dollars and eighty cents back in 1952, as Her Her Majesty the Queen leaves us the parts. She leaves a pound at one dollar and fourteen cents, uh, thirty-seven year low. With that being said, let's just go real quick over the markets. As I said, the uh, markets and the uh, European markets are pointing higher. That momentum uh, can be seen, could be seen, overflow into the uh, U.S. session as it opens. But I'm thinking that the market will have a, a small rally to the upside, but short-lived and. Uh, it will just really fluctuate <clears throat> around the uh, 12,400 level, right about that level, and coming up to our resistance of 12,535, but uh, not much of movement perhaps throughout the day. Uh, I anticipate a quiet day for today. The same token goes for the uh, S&P 500. Uh, the market is obviously set up uh, for a nice popular to the upside which is the momentum or perhaps a, a short pullback to our 4,000 psychological level the uh, one the one that is really pushing higher well not higher but going back to previous highs is crude oil um, we're seeing here that crude oil is almost it's right now it's in, on the other side is over or bought so that could prompt some selling uh, correction. That correction could probably uh, pull back towards the 8550 mark, or even down to the 85 mark, with the where the uh, 200 moving average is kind of uh, showing us the uh, the path. But that's on a 30 day, 30 minute chart. This is a 30 minute chart, so it's, it'll, it'll change if you if you use a different time zone, a, a different time uh, period. So so. For the crude oil, I'm looking at market to come in and fluctuate above our resistance throughout the day. Then we have natural gas is pulling back, uh, perhaps down towards our 50 moving average, find some support here, and then make another attempt to the upside. Then we have gold. Gold has really been fluctuating in a very small range above 1700 below 1740 the pivot point 1720 but i have a 1710. Uh, the moving averages are separated on a 30 minute chart the uh, 50 day moving average is acting as a um, support right now and so perhaps we could probably see just a lateral movement consolidation ranging uh, also, pretty quiet market for today. Silver is the one that perhaps could be could see some movement in it. This correction uh, could probably be already ended. 1860 is the uh, psychological support level where we probably find that support. Buyers come in and take another attempt at $19. Then we have here copper. Oh, copper is pulling back down towards the uh, 200 day moving average and our pivot point of 351. RSI is in the neutral zone. Then we have Bitcoin that has made a nice movement to the upside, found resistance at 21,250, right about that level. Now has it's created a doji, uh, so perhaps we, we're going to be seeing some of this movement a lot of movement around this level trying to keep track above 21,000 or around 21,000 then we have here 
the euro that is really struggling to stay above parity or around parity, it fluctuates above it, then goes back below it. But obviously, that's a lot to do with the uh, dollar index and the uh, scenario that is that Europe is going through with the energy crisis. And then we have here our dollar index. Dollar index is looking to stay above 1850, below 1950. That's our range our resistance. Uh, we'll see if it holds throughout the day. Well, guys, that's it for me right now. I uh, want to thank you for watching and have a nice weekend.